Hey, I'm Shauna of Styleberry Blog, um, and this video is going to talk a little bit about the differences between the Grovia and the Flip uh, Hyper Diaper, which I have used um, both on different trips. So I've had pretty extensive experience now with both diapers, um, and this is just going to cover them as a disposable um, hybrid diaper. So I'm going to put the camera down and start talking a little bit about the differences, what I like, um, what fits my baby, and what doesn't, um, and which I would prefer and why. So, stay tuned. Okay, you are looking at the Flip, which is the pink diaper, and the Grovia, which is the green diaper. And you can see right away that there's a pretty substantial size difference between the two of them. The Flip is much wider than the Grovia. I'm gonna layer them one on top of each other just so you can see that difference. So you've got almost two inches extra, I would say, on the Flip than you do on the Grovia. And you can also see that the snap system on the two are very different as well. The Grovia has two snaps to secure around the waist on each side, and the Flip also has two snaps, but they're one on top of each other, not um, horizontally. So when that is put together on the diaper, at least on the Flip diaper, you can see that you snap one on top of the other vertically, and this is loose, whereas on the Grovia diaper, you have two in a row horizontally, which keeps the waistband in place, which for me is a really big selling point on the Grovia because what happens with the flip diaper, especially if you have a baby that has a tiny waist like I do, is if you get it all the way to the middle, this ends up hanging here loose. And you can see that the leg hole doesn't work so well. So with the Grovia, because this back end of the waistband is secured, it's much sturdier in the leg area, which definitely has an effect on leaks, um, especially when you're talking about a number two diaper. They do have a very similar sizing system as far as the snaps go. Um, they will expand and contract all the way down so they're short and long um, in, in just about the same way. The inside, though, is very different. The Grovia has a mesh and you can see that the flip diaper does not. The Grovia also has two snaps that work with the um, soaker pad, which is the cloth component that goes inside the Grovia diaper. Um, and the flip also has a cloth insert as well, um, and that would tuck underneath this little pocket right here, and there's also a pocket here in the back. And if you're using the flip um, disposable inserts, um, the, the system is the same. You would tuck it underneath both sides. And I don't have the flip disposable insert. What I do have is the G diaper disposable insert, which is what I will show you. And this is what you can buy at Babies R Us. That's where I got them. Um, they are just a disposable pad. They do say that they will disintegrate in a toilet if you put them in there and stir them with a wand, but I can tell you that I've just thrown them away because I'm not <laughs> gonna stand there and swish in a toilet. Um, this is the Grovia Gusseted Bio Soaker, which is also disposable. It is compostable and biodegradable. Um, this is not compostable, but this one is. They are both biodegradable. This is flushable after you let it dissolve in the toilet. This is not. Um, so two big differences between the two. You can also see that this one is gusseted and this one is not. So this one lays perfectly flat and this one actually curves just as it would if you had it on the baby. Now the other major difference between the two different um, disposable inserts is the back. The back of the G diaper insert is not waterproof. So when this soaks, it's gonna soak all the way through and you're gonna have um, urine or, I have never had poop on my shell um, through the diaper, but I've definitely had urine soak through and hit the, the flip liner. On this, there's a plastic disposable, well, it's a plastic free, so it can't be plastic. Um, but you can, you can feel it, if you ever touch one in person, that there is some sort of a waterproof backing on this. So even with the baby piece of the diaper, you're not going to have the urine actually touching um, the, the shell that the liner's sitting in. So if you look at how these are gonna fit in the two diapers, what you'll see here is that this flat pad tucks in underneath, but there's nothing keeping it from moving around. So the problem that I had with the flip diaper is that this shifts as the baby walks and moves and it bunches up in the middle, and by the time I went to pull it out, it looked something like that. 
um, <laughs> we had very disastrous number two diapers because obviously if your baby has to poop, it's not going to hit all on the disposable insert. So you can see why that would be problematic. Um, this has two tabs. This is the Grovia Bio Soaker that stick. And so what you do is you remove the tabs and you stick the liner, the disposable bio soaker, that's what we'll call it, um, right into the Grovia. And you can use this in each shell, um, but this, because it does stick and stay put, it's not going to move around when the baby moves around. Um, and because it's gusseted, anything that the baby, you know, expels as far as poop or pee is going to go right inside this bio soaker. And once it's tucked up and on the baby, it's not going to leak. My little one is headed in this direction with her stroller. Um, but you can see the major difference in the two of them just sitting here. Um, and I found that the Grovia plus the disposable bio soaker is a far superior product to um, the flip shell with the disposable pad just because the way that they're designed are very different. Are you going to come join the fun? Hi. Thank you. You can come help me. Um, but I would much prefer using the Grovia, and I also found that you could use the um, the Grovia. Ming Ming. Oh, Ming Ming. Ming Ming. I know. Yes, Ming Ming. Later. Okay. But you can use the Grovia shell um, more frequently because you don't have to wash it as often as the flip shell, just because the flip shell ends up getting soiled a lot more often. So, that being said, I would uh, definitely recommend the Grovia over the flip. Um, for a number of reasons. Um, one being fit, two being the kind of insert that goes in them, um, and three being that you can use the Grovia so much more, um, so many more times before you have to wash it versus the, uh, the flip shell, which you can't. So that's my take on the two disposable diapers, um, or disposable hybrid diapers, I should say. I hope that was helpful. Um, and there is a ton more information in the blog post that goes along with this video. So make sure you check the link right underneath the video and um, that should help. Thanks.